Well, tonight we have some good news for parents dealing with children with autism. A new study reveals the importance of early intervention. Here with more is Dr. Robert Melillo, the author of Autism, the Scientific Truth About Preventing, Diagnosing, and Treating Autism Spectrum Disorders and what parents can do now. And that certainly is what we're talking about tonight. Uh, doctor, thanks for being on the show. So the study we're talking about, you said it was shocking, surprising, and, and, and was very important to parents with autistic children. Only seven kids were tested, though. What did this small study show? Well, what it showed, which is very important, is that for years people have said that there's nothing that can be done with autism, that it's a genetic disorder. and It's a life sentence. Yeah, this life sentence is just you have to manage it. And this is, is one of the other studies showing that it's, it's not true, it's not the case, that we may be able to actually eliminate it, reverse it, and even prevent it. So in this study, they watched these babies, right? right. Very, very carefully. Tell me exactly what they did and, and how they managed to pull these kids back from the brink. Yeah, well, the study was done at the Mind Institute at University of Cal Davis, which is a really well, uh, well documented study. And um, what they did was they looked at six to nine month old children and they did this intervention, which was really fairly simplistic, which was really teaching the parents how to be more attentive to the child's cues and, 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 uh, and subtle social So what things. does that do, though? I mean, how's that an advantage? Well, you know, we know that in autism, what we're seeing is that areas of the brain, especially on the right side, that are related to nonverbal communication, eye contact, facial expression, are delayed in development. They're not broken or damaged, they're just delayed. So by a parent maybe being even more attentive than normal, you may be able to stimulate those areas of the brain so now that they, now they grow. Um, and so what they did was huh. they followed these children out and they found that at one year of age that basically five of the seven children had no signs of autism any longer and that one of them had much more subtle signs. So that's a pretty significant change. Oh, no kidding. So what's a parental takeaway from this study in your view? What should mom and dad learn here? Well, for me, you know, at our centers and brain balance centers, we work with these children all the time. And um, you said you've been working with these kids for 20 years. Yeah, we've been working with, and we work with with a higher function, higher functioning autism uh, kids, and we do see elimination and significant improvement. So the idea is that many of the parents that come into us have been told literally at, at three, four, five, six years old that they need to start looking for an institution, that there's nothing that can be done, and, and this is what happens. And what parents should know is that autism can be helped, and in many cases it may actually be completely reversed. And you said it, it's not genetic if you can turn it around. Exactly. In fact, the, the actual causes of autism may be what? Environmental things like age. Um, you know, vitamin deficiencies, we know folic acid deficiencies, high stress hormones, uh, exposure to certain types of toxins. But as you said, mostly things we can change, mostly things we can eliminate or avoid or even reverse. So, doctor, before you go, tell the parents out there who may have a small child just the things they should be looking at. And, and again, these are little babies. They're not very big. So, right. so what are the signals, the symbols, the, the cues that your baby is giving you that it may be autistic? Well, one of the earliest things is really that non verbal communication between mother and child, which really can be noted at one month of age. It's been shown by looking at, at one to two months of age, you could identify a child who may be autistic by whether they're focusing on their mother's uh, eyes and facial expression or whether they're looking on around them. Also, is the child rolling over appropriately? Are they crawling on time? Are they delayed? in walking. Many of those motor milestones are very, very important, although many parents are told they're not. Doctor, fascinating study. Thanks for coming on and telling us about it. Thank you. Well,